Hello, this is J9LP, and I'm starting a new playthrough. I'm starting a new playthrough. I've started this playthrough ages ago, but I'm actually only just doing post commentary with it now. Um, this game, um, Eden's Aegis, um, by the same people who did Blue Wish Resurrection Plus. And again, this is Dojin, it's freeware, I'm a full Windows platform, and I'll probably put a link in the description or something. Anyways, let's start a new game. I'm going to be playing um, uh, through these, well, all through all these difficulty levels. Um, there's three difficulty levels and one I'll show you later. I'm going to be playing Heaven because I'm cheap like that. And of course, uh, there's actually a choice of two characters you get at the beginning. I've just unlocked that third one. Um, I'll tell you how I'm uh, after I go through the game with this character, Nanafi, who I'm uh, is a spread fire specialist. Anyway, this game is pretty much a bullet hell schnapp in more of the kind of the magical girl um, uh, sort of um, uh, angle. So, unlike the Wish Resurrection class, which is pretty much more of a sci fi um, uh, sort of assault craft thing, um, uh, this is more. Uh, Reminiscent, not reminiscent. This is more like uh, games like um, Escalada, Toho, or um, Mushi Hime Summer. So there's plenty of um, uh, really kind of idyllic, lovely sort of scenery and, and uh, twee and uh, fun, happy, fun time music. Let's just call it that. But um, uh, it's still very much um, uh, dodging absolutely gobshite loads of bullets on the screen. Um, just like I'm shooting all those other ones. Um, uh, that sort of. And it really came out sort of recently in um, um, that time. Back in the uh, 2000s. Most of my um, uh, shoot marks back then um, uh, you might as well all kind of sort of. Future craft and sci fi and whatever else. Um, only recently, I don't know that we've got more sort of fantasy settings like this. Anyways, as we, we meet our first boss, um, uh, you will of course note that just like in most other bullet hell shops, you've only got that one key little hit point on your character. Which is the only vulnerable point, um, but only really shows up if you hold down the fire button. And uh, when you hold down the fire button, it focuses the fire more in towards you so that you can actually hit a single enemy quickly. Also, slows you down, which kind of helps you dodge these nasty bullets. Um, otherwise, if you let go, you'll actually be able to move back around the screen. Which has its advantages and its disadvantages as anyone who played a schmop with a most speed up options would know. Especially if they played something like Gradius or on the R type or any of those kind of stuff. You don't get speed up options in the mob with it helps schmops, as far as I know. You just got on the two speeds. One slow that helps you dodge the myriad of bullets, and a um, uh, normal speed which um, uh, helps you get to the most well, smaller and just go down and go to the fire in place. Um, so, something that I haven't actually touched upon is that the scoring system in this game uh, is very much unlike the Doom's Resurrection. Plus, um, in that game, well, if, when you, if you have a look at the um, uh, playthrough I've actually put up on that game, you'll see that to get them um, uh, extra bonus shards, you've got the big ones and you've got the, the little ones that you, um, that you can miss points, but you can actually get a shite ton of them. In the uh, Blue Wish Resurrection Plus, you've actually had to find um, uh, these little sort of dispensers hidden in the um, in the background or the ground below and they usually you 
knock those out, and uh, we can fire power, and you'll give a stream of bonus shards. And in this game, in Aiden's Aegis, um, it's very different in all that um, you actually have to do it in normal way, in quite a few sort of normal bullet health shots. And that more bullets you have on the screen, and uh, when you actually use something to um, uh, knock them out, which is essentially, um, I'll show you at some point, I've seen it quite a few times before, the stream of um, uh, bullets, which is just like a, um, you just basically do that stream of bullets, and which will cause extra damage to a man who you hit, and while that's active, or at the very least while its screen is um, uh, not only on the screen, that's also actually connected with the enemy, um, we'll, I'm not doing too well here at the moment, but I'm um, uh, you've seen quite a few times before that while I actually have that stream active and while the enemies are blue, um, if you destroy a big enemy, like this one, um, any of the bullets um, uh, that's a pretty when it does explode while it's in all that phase will turn it into bone shards. And that also goes with the slightly less bigger enemies and also actually with the smaller enemies. That's why almost every enemy, in fact every enemy in the game has a health bar and that will um, uh, essentially mean that any bullets that they've shot that are still present on the screen will turn into those smaller bone shards um, when they are destroyed within that stream and also one second after. Essentially, um, uh, while they're blue and this some. Um, uh, that's a little bit strategy of strategy. Strategy. I hate saying that word. Strategy. Words. Thank you very much. Um, in the art of timing your um, uh, stream shot. Um, which, if you can actually see the, um, uh, the bar that now says maximum. Um, that is basically your the maximum uh, time, so it takes about three seconds or so. But you don't actually have to, you don't actually have to let go of that stream when it is at maximum. But um, to get the maximum benefit, you need to have it full. So you have to kind of listen out for that, and of course, you know, the little sort of circle thing that shows up. Character music. Um, uh, let you know that it's rudder. Also, um, as you can pretty much tell with the boss battles, this is doubly important because you got these um, uh, sort of div div divisions in the health bars, which are essentially just different phases of the um, uh, boss, and obviously. obviously um, letting go of that stream around that point where they do actually explode um, will allow you to get the maximum benefit of all those bullets turning to bone shards and giving you actually tons of ruler which is always fun and um, the further you go into the game um, you get enemies that or even more bullets, and that stream strategy becomes even more important then because obviously I'm using it at the right time will net the absolutely tons of points. Or you can just screw up at that point like I did just then and won't get benefits at all, which isn't good. But I'm uh, just like in most other bullet health schnapps, um, uh, the deeper you go into the game, it's got about five levels 
like I said, I'm a bit hard with most of these bullet health traps. Um, that get longer and longer and have a heck of a more variety of enemies that shoot up even more complicated bullets. Um, and then the other side of that is that you have an opportunity to get a heck of a lot more points but also make it kind of hard for you to have to Also, um, uh, mid bosses, as this game is quite a heck of a lot of each um, uh, stage uh, also have more complicated fire patterns and also a lot more opportunities to get extra points. Um, actually, I'm death. Um, which you can actually kind of delay by um, having a guard option which um, uh, will knock out a bomb. Um, so those sort of um, uh, marine cycle type things, like toy things, I don't know, um, are actually bombs, which you can drop at any time. And personally, I don't use smart bombs that much, because usually you get bonuses from them if you catch them, keep as many as you can. Um, but every time you get hit by you've got the you know, guard option up, um, you will lose bomb, but um, all that will do is make you live a bit longer, but it also neutralises all the bullets on the screen and they won't come on for a good while, so obviously you need to try it, even when you need to try it not to get hit. If you have the guard mode off, um, uh, you will die instantly, just like most watch maps. Of course, um, you can prolong that even by getting um, uh, extra bombs. Now, the way you get extra bombs is not like this um, uh, schnapps where you have to destroy a, a big enemy on the screen and they usually have power ups and bombs and stuff like that. It's not like that at all. Um, in fact, converse, in, interestingly enough, um, they're, they're almost kind of the opposite to Evil Special Reduction Plus. You actually have to hunt for the bombs lying somewhere in the screen. As soon as you find a hint of one, you can let your stream go and um, it will appear on the screen. You can just collect it just like when you have a bullet box from up. Anyways, now we're on the third boss and uh, this kind of signifies that you're halfway through the game and you are fighting a girl just like you, another magical girl that throws sporks galore at you. Yes. <sighs> The Sporktacular Spork Princess. Um, she's just about your size, although, with that said, she isn't too hard to hit because she kind of just sits in front of you. But she spits out heck of a lot of bullets. And um, uh, she's kind of like the second hardest boss in the game. In that sense. Or with the third hardest, yes, yeah, basically. Uh, in that regard. Um, and the advantage of that is you can see here, the more bullets on the screen, the slower they go. The slower you go as well, it slows everything down. But it's kind of a uh, built-in feature of Melbourne's bullet which not just kind of like a, a weight option where the more bullets are on the screen and the uh, slower everything goes. But not up after that. Um, hopefully. So, with that, um, trying to do what I was talking about now. I've lost Triac. I'm on the high up. Anyways, as we continue to dodge all these sporks and get these horrible, terrible things that shoot out even more, but it's that actually make it fairly easy to use the watch cost kind of fines in the until that happens and you're like, oh my gosh, where's my own? It was my definition. My defined area is gone. But I'm um, uh obviously just keep your eyes open to where the actual bullets go. Um you'll be fine. Dodge them. 
Um, this game is actually is much harder than the newest Resurrection Plus, even on Heaven Mode, because there's just so much more going on. Um, and not only that, because you're kind of having to watch out for uh, the health bar and when to release your stream, you're kind of keeping your eye on like two or three things at once. One, you're trying to dodge bullets, two, you're trying to hit your enemy, but three, you're also keeping an eye on the health bar and then having to let this thing rest and the points because you're also looking at how many bullets on the screen for our uh, maximum effect. So, you know, it's it's a fair bit more to um, uh, concentrate on in this game, which um makes it kind of, I don't know, it kind of makes it more pivotal. I personally prefer the Wii's Resurrection Plus um, because more theme and sort of the audio visuals. I personally think the audio visuals in this game are again the usual kind of mix of uh, sort of production values. Um, the graphics aren't great. But with gameplay like this, who cares? And the music, I actually, mm, I, I'm not that keen on the music in this one. Why am I spork? No, you, you, unfortunately, after you killed all that, you don't get a spork. That's so not fair. Do all that work, and what do you get? A whole bunch of friendly shots, and not, no single spork to show for it. Not fair. Anyway, like I said, the production values. Um, are great. Um, and the music, I personally think, isn't best. Although, that said, um, I do like some of the music in there. I think I'm um, uh, the music in stage 5 is actually fantastic. Anyway, this stage, um, especially, kind of, pretty much hops back to a kind of Mushi Hime Sano, which is a case much not pretty much with the same sort of magical girl mode and you kind of fight against insects and stuff like that. Or on the back of a huge stack into a wall. Um and this stage very much um uh, reminds me more of the machine in this one but a lot of this thing I'm pretty sure the influence is very much his kind of machine. Um, and yeah, you're not playing the detail, you're just playing the strange star like thing. Like, oh yeah. Um, and the bosses, I mean, the bosses have got like, huge enemies in there also, really bad. And of course, it's for a map stage is longer. So yeah, the, the stages increase in that this further you get in. Which is all this is Wow. You can get there's loads of opportunities for a huge amount of connection as well. And then you get this weird boss kind of fades in and out while falling Oh, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it just kill me? Don't worry, you, you, you do get an extend. You think you get an extend every seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, seven, eight, 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 and uh, somewhere at the point where you can find it, just like the bombs. Um, it, like there you can see, for instance, as soon as the bomb goes into existence, and I'll put screen on it, and uh, it will then show itself and bounce around the screen, and you can collect it. And you live to fight another day! <laughs> uh, of course, if you actually drop a bomb, any that will also cause any bullets in the screen. Turn into the shards. 
Why do that when you can just be just straight? It's not happening. You don't need a bomb and you can get the bigger bonuses and you can kill it at the right fucking jam. What the fuck do you wear as well? Yeah, it's good to have this weight option. You can actually turn that weight option off, but obviously the bullets will still be going at the same speed. Not a lot harder for it. Um, it's only really you know, handy for beginners like myself. So really <laughs> But you can get a fair amount of fun now. It's just why. But if you want to quickly the skill, you can turn off the bars and wait and uh, see how far you can get them. I think I've only ever managed to get up to this stage on uh, the ball options off, the ball of your aids off. Um, okay, this boss is kind of interesting. This is kind of the first boss that will um, uh, up to me. Oh, this jacket. Um, it will sort of split itself apart, and basically you've got to watch out for for this pretty much everywhere you screw in, and also and there are those parts from the same block. You know, you say, you know, you know what? I want to get to that guy behind. Do you that mirror? Sorry, no, I'm like, shit, that's gone. Go! Curse is for you. Anyways, um, if you actually notice the counter on the top left corner of the screen, and the top left corner of the play in our room, um, there's that counter that kind of drops. Um, that is essentially, um, that will essentially affect the amount of points that, uh, the monster every time you get on it. And every time you get destroyed. Um, the advantage of that is that the more a more bonus shot get, um, the more I need to um, for that throws. and to keep it kind of not going too fast in the market, it's something you kind of need to do, especially when you're kind of using that word stream, because the more bone shards you get, then actually the quicker your charge and mark on the box will actually go up. So that's Then the fire you can, and that can get confusion at the end. Um, also, with that, I mean, you can use that stream any time you want, just of course, I've got that extra edge. So, you can spam it as much as you like. And I'm not going to pop it. Yeah. All of those lovely green shards. And of course, the big counter, um, just like in Wushu Hino Summer, is basically the amount of those shards that you've actually collected. And actually, I think, keep think thinking about that, maybe I was wrong. Maybe all that, the amount of those won't go that number. Shows up there, it actually has it with this on um, the screen. Anyway, this is the fifth and final level, and I do or believe it in this stage. Um, it's, to me, it's the best track. And now, this entire game, and the actual level itself isn't on the uh, that bad either because not only have we got a huge 
on now. And as soon as he's dead, that's him. Oh, shot of those. Please. Um, we also get these enemies. But you really, really need to have more concentrate and get them in the right spot. Or they will just overwhelm you. And, you know, you will lose quite a fair bit of guards and allies here. Um, also, this piece of map bottom as well. And with these bigger enemies, which is going to be two pages. Um, and of course you've got faster moving enemies, um, which you can pretty much I I but I usually use the uh, screaming nose too, because they shit out of the way it is. Well, this mid boss though is really, really annoying because I only got for this day, but it's not fail, and it's, yeah, you're, you're, I had to drop a bomb there. That's the first time I dropped a bomb at any point in the game, probably just absolutely shite some different stuff. And the uh, brakes need to be triggered and stuff like that. Just triggers there. The big one. So that's a good thing to turn. It doesn't charge up very quick. And uh, especially if you fall into the pit and you've got And then the shards. It's going to contribute to the charge. Anyways, um, if, if I do sound fairly different in this recording, it is because I'm on my new machine. I've only just managed to find some Amart's uh, internal onboard sound on the uh, drivers that actually don't make a horrible, hissy, squeaky, screechy noise. But, um, I'm not on the old machine. My old machine had a uh, sound part, so. So, still kind of keeping that to trying to make it sound a bit better. And of course, trying to turn off any of these sound aids I can because they really, really make it a heck of a lot worse. And if it's supposed to enhance everything, that just makes it worse. I can't be off. I can't be bothered. Turn them all off. They're horrible. Well, and hopefully this recording will come up as I did do a couple of before, so sort of hopefully it will turn out alright. I don't know why I'm holding my frame that far away from me. Probably because I don't want to be gobbing into it so much. Um, but usually that I'm going to go into. Anyways, um, yes, another bomb. You can get more than one bomb. Fellow in fact, I'm pretty sure there are others that I've missed. And now we come to the final boss who's leapt into a huge um, uh, globe type of thing. And as you can pretty much guess, it's going to be a little fun to fight. Well, expect it to, whilst dropping boss. Oh. Um, to be honest, the final boss in here isn't that hard, uh, especially if you're. Great mode. I mean, uh, it's not that hard at all, but uh, it's still pretty damn tricky. You still have to be very, very alert as to where I'm at, so maybe the bullets actually come from this. They are off the town of Absolute town of And of course, I'm lacking most bullet touch marks. Even the bullets you have a very small bit on it. You don't kind of it is kind of deceptive, you can kind of squeeze past ones that are kind of impressive, but the active mode is the spot. You know, the you know, most of the bullet most of the bullet patterns are there to just confuse you, but you can almost always see a very much clear path. You just gotta be there right place at the right time. 
That's what it's all about. But yeah, I'm the uh, boss here, isn't it? The final boss here was the final boss. As you know, if you ever played a uh, bullet crush from a kind of a high level, you, you all know what I'm talking about. And we have destroyed the last boss ride! And no, uh, oh no, 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 we haven't. Nope, we're finding, uh, fighting another magical girl, Rings. And this is essentially going to be the next hard boss. Going to shoot an absolute. Woohoo! Whoa! Yeah, that, you, can, you can tell why I did this in on the post commentary, but I've tried it with the hot commentary before. Just had to continue all the time. Another deceptively clever and the bullet pattern there with the last one actually going faster than the others. You just have to keep your eye out. That's what it's all about. Like I said, if, if the weight wasn't in here, it would be a hell of a lot harder. And you get that stream of woods like this, and you think, oh, those! No, 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 if you hit at the right point and you hit the stream at the right point, you can net yourself a good way of points there too. But I think at this point you're more kind of concerned in trying to stay alive. Um because you do actually get bonuses for um, uh, each um uh, life you have left on the screen. That's actually good keep the game. I'm not sure if that was a spoiler or not, but uh, whatever, it does the job. Yes, there's blood. There's the blood in this game. It's all supposed to be a what happy, fun time, magical girl type stuff, and you, you, there's blood all over the place. Well, well why the hell's not? You're blasting someone in the face of an absolute idiot. What did you expect to happen? Oh craps! Okay, I was completely unprepared for that. Oh, that was a uh, micro to be tired. Yeah, lots and lots of different patterns. And if the weight mode wasn't on, um, you know, this is heaven mode as well. But anyway, one more stream. Um, anyway. For those who are wondering what I was talking about um, um, uh, about the final boss, this um, isn't the true final boss. Um, with most bullet hell shmups, you get to fight bosses like this, and then you get the true final boss, which just uh, basically fills the entire screen with bullets. You better know how to dodge them. You know, you better know where you are. But they pretty much always obscure you from the screen. Um, so yeah, this isn't a true final boss. This is just the final boss. I'm now staring at another magical girl. Or boy, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's Japanese. So you know what? You know what? Certain Japanese things are, they like the kind of fishermen's, um, Georgians, you know, directors, so I'm not too clear on the whole story of that. Um, yeah, especially here, because look at this bullets everywhere. Well, most of them are just distractions, you know, you just got to try and stay in the good and concentrate on those, dodging those real type ones, really. And any other ones that I can kind of throw into good measure. Just to confuse it. Because they all like doing it. And that is it! Oh, 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 oh. The friend of us is fired and doesn't explode with a big explosion noise, it just goes. Blink. And now we can get our final. Who knows? 
and watch the end credits. Um, you can actually finish the game. Um, uh, it does actually have con continues. I think it has about nine credits or something like that. But um, the reason that I wanted to show you a one credit um, uh, circuit was just to show you that um, uh, these credits in the end. Um, as you pretty much tell, it is done by a very small team. Um, and yeah, it's given away free. It is Dojin. Essentially, it's freeware, and um, you've got to appreciate it for that. Um, despite the low production values, it's still a pretty damn good um, uh, for it holds them up. Congratulations, and thank you for playing. Yes, we did portrait there. Okay, so obviously once you've gone through one circuit of the game, you have an opportunity to, after you've seen the game over screen, that lets you know it's game over, because that's what it is, game over. You get an opportunity to put your name up, and I'm just going to put a horrible generic name up here, J9L, because I can't fit in the P. Not likely to, anyways. And of course, you get an opportunity to um, actually save a replay um, uh, of your current run, which is a nice touch. And as you can, you can tell, none of is my favourite character, but there are others which I'm going to show you right about now. Um, also, going to show you this extra mode around here. Which doesn't actually show up anywhere on the screen there. Um, Maple is a, a focus fire specialist, and this one, Eve, um, is actually quite special because she showed up in the prequel to this game, which is actually called Eden's Edge. Um, and that was basically the first, one of the first games that I'm uh, it's this guy and I actually came up with. Um, that one has very, very low production values and it's very, very basic. Um, so why did bullets fly at you like a super speed for Pete's sakes? Um, well, this is because this is an Axel mode and essentially what that means is every bullet that the enemy shoot will actually get faster as they come towards you. Um, and actually, thinking about it, Eve is actually perfect for that because her um, stream attack is quite fast and do a heck of a lot of damage so you're more than likely to be able to actually catch those bullets on the screen when you use her stream attack um, which is always good so anyway that is Eden's Aegis Beware I'm a bullet hell shop the Windows platform and like I said all links in the bottom in the description if you want to try it out yourself Anyway, thanks for watching folks and keep on playing!